A lot has happened in a year. A gorilla got shot, a lion got shot, our presidential candidates are fucking idiots. But let's just stop. Now, let's not think about 2016, let's think about 2015. What happened that year? Well, what happened in August was I went to Florida, Stewart, Florida to be exact, and I did a whole playlist on my YouTube channel called Surviving Florida 2015. Catchy, right? Yeah, I thought so, at the time. A lot of stuff happened, actually. One of the kids in, in the playlist actually overdosed and passed away, sad to hear. But I had a video on that playlist called Night at the Haunted Hotel, and I personally have to show you this video, personally, because I think you are going to like this. It was, it's was it been on my channel for a year now, but the editing software I used back then was pretty terrible. So that's why I'm re-editing this video with full commentary, so you know the personal experience and it's everything you got to see like first person experience inside this haunted hotel that is now being destroyed in Stewart, Florida. So I hope you enjoy this. This is a little bit of a tribute to the kid who actually OD'd last year. It's just a little tribute to him as well at the end of the credits. So if you want to stay after the video and watch that, it's up to you. But this is also just a little bit of a remake, just so people can know what we saw personally, because it was crazy what we saw at this place, in the basement especially. So I hope you enjoy. and Tanner is driving right now, so you want to give him a, a, give her a heart attack? <laughs> so what happens when she's a female driver? You have to, you have to, be, sa you have to be safe. Oh my god. She's <laughs> getting really close. She's giving us the finger, oh my god. She's giving us the finger right now. This is when she drives off the bridge. This is when we all die. Oh my god, Tanner, yeah, keep shaking. That's what I like. Oh yay, Britain! <laughs> oh yeah, Britain. You guys keep telling me this. Britain! Yeah, go to the other side. British driving! British <laughs> I'm driving. sorry! Oh my god, Tanner! <laughs> Tanner! <laughs> you fucking nut job! <laughs> guys, there's someone behind us? No! Thank God! Heart attack! <laughs> Storm, that was for you if you're watching this. We're, we're being British for a day. We're being Storm for today. Super duper yeah, British. Yeah, she doesn't seem happy. But she's fine. So right now, what are we doing, guys? We're going to explore a haunted hotel. Well, it's supposedly, abandoned. it's just abandoned. And uh, last time we went, we went there, there's security guards, and they kind of, he kind of yelled at us. And we kind of ran and dipped. And I, I don't think he was happy that we ran away. What do you think? He was, we were going to, like, I thought he was going to give us, like, him? I thought he was going to give us, like, cookies or something. And, like... Yeah, maybe he had cookies. He's like, wait, my mom made these fresh batch of cookies. Come back. And we just ran. We should have walked over to him. We yeah, she seems. We should have been like, Give her the bright, uh, put the brights on real quick. Just blind her. Blind her with the brights. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she's like, she's gonna slam on her brakes and we're gonna hit into hers. She and... would not do that in his car. Oh, believe me, she will. She doesn't give a fuck. No, she gives a fuck about the rabbit. Yeah, she gives a fuck more about the car than family members. And him. <laughs> and him, basically. Yeah, he's kinda expendable. She's like, I love you for your car. But if you didn't have the car, I, w no, I wouldn't be I talking would not to you. Even talk to you. Oh God, she's breaking. Breaking, breaking. Clean them. We're ready. Okay, so currently we're inside the hotel. What we had to do is go in from the back. There was like this little gate fence that was broken, and we had to crawl through. And if you didn't like, if you stay there for like two minutes, like mosquitoes would be attacking you. So basically, this hotel is like 27 floors. And basically, I was scared out of my mind doing this video because I was just scared out of, like, my mind. I'm not going to lie. Just everything about this was spooky because it was just quiet. It was no lights whatsoever. And the first time we actually tried to get in, the security actually saw us and we had to, like, legit run away. So sorry if the camera angle is terrible. It was just a really, let, let me just say this video was, like, 50-50 when I started recording this thing. So, yeah. So where were, we, where were we? I think we were on like the the fourth floor. But we started heading to the basement. That's what I remember. Okay, so let's keep going. 
What was creepy about this thing is just that n none of us really prepared for this. So like my phone was not even on like freaking 100%. It was like on 20%. So it ends up dying halfway through the video. So I had to use my sister's phone, which when I was recording her footage, it sounded like it was underwater. It was really bad. Also, this side note, because people have been asking me personally, like, what's going on with the, uh, like, why is, is this a tribute video or is this just a remake? This is just a remake, but also it's a little bit of a tribute at the end of the video for all those people who are wondering about what happened. I did have a kid, he's actually, sad to say he's not actually in this video, this video personally, but he was in other videos in the playlist itself. And, uh, basically, we, uh, I want to make like this little bit of a tribute because I didn't know him that well. But he was with us a decent amount of time when I was on the trip. That uh, when I uh, when I heard he passed away, I was like really shocked that he. I didn't know he was like did some diehard. He did like a very diehard drugs, and it was just creepy because like he was a really nice kid. I'm not. I have nothing against him, but it was just creepy. Sorry if my nose is really stuffy. I'm a little sick. First world problems. But right now we're actually in the basement. For all those people who don't know, basically we went down there. And it was completely dark. I'm thinking a homeless guy's gonna come out and fucking shank me. And I'm like, okay, great. This is just fucking great. And then, um, what happens? And then my sister goes up ahead trying to play the little Boy Scout she is. She's gonna be like, let me go up ahead. I do this all the time. Have you ever seen me in King's Park? I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, really? Okay, gotcha. And then it's like really quiet. So my friend Tanner, TJT Redden, yeah, it says he hit a bottle. Basically, he hits his foot on a bottle, makes this loud sound, and I thought it was like a fucking creature down there. I was just thinking like a werewolf or something was gonna come up and fucking attack us. If that was the case, I would have just pushed my sister in front of it and ran up those stairs. Brotherly love. It's really dark, but don't worry. What you're about to see is quite interesting. Okay, this is what it was. This is this is what we discovered at the basement. A lot of crazy graffiti. It was very creepy. What are you about to see? So we go down. We keep heading forward. To what we see is a dark out. We see like a, a hallway. And we're like, what the fuck? There was security outside actually at the time. What happened was we went in from the back and the security guard was at the front when we got in there. Like I think he left halfway through. So we didn't have to worry, but I really felt like he was going down. But this is to the basement itself. Like there was like you go down the first set of stairs, it brings you to the basement. This is like the the second part of the basement, as terrible as I'm explaining this right now. But let's just say this now. This was just fucking crazy because we kept going down and down. I think we were just gonna hit somewhere like where like a bunch of fucking worshippers, like devil worshippers, were gonna be. And where I was like, what the fuck? Like, why did I agree to do this? All I wanted to do was just like go to the pool, like have a few drinks and like play some fucking pool. No, I had to fucking do this. Okay, this is the place. This is what I was talking about. This is the spooky hallway, and. This is what we found at the bottom. It was fucking crazy. We, I was losing my shit when I saw this. I was like, okay, can we leave now? And they're like, no, we still have to explore. I'm like, great, just, just perfect. <laughs> just perfect. And then when we look at the end of the hallway, what do we see? This is what we see. Just watch. This is what I had to fucking deal with, man. You don't know how like stressful and emotional I was down here. And people are like, oh man, you're such a pussy. I'm like, well, dude, if you were my shoes right there at that time, no weapons. Yep, a fucking slender man. This is what I this is what I saw at the end of the hallway. I went up ahead. I flashed my light. I see a fucking slender man in the dark hallway. I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? I I legit like ran back to the other t people because I was that scared. But yeah, this is all the crazy shit. Like this is all this crazy like spray paint we saw down here. I have to say the artists kind of went out of their way and made it really beautiful. So if you're from Stewart, Florida, and you did this, I have to say personally, amazing shit, man. People ask me, uh, personally, would I go do like another ghost adventure like this or like another going to an abandoned place? The answer is yes, with my GoPro next time, but I need to know of a good place that I could go to. If anyone has any good suggestions, personally comment below, any good ideas. Yeah, I like the open your eyes one, I thought that was hilarious when I saw it. It's the old S that all the kids did back in like fucking elementary school. But uh, yeah, but a little...
fun little story I'm going to talk about real quick is the fact that uh, I actually went to a haunted hotel, like a legit one, a place that Ghost Hunters actually went to. And what people didn't realize about this hotel was uh, that this hotel, we had, uh, it was called the Shanley Hotels, right outside New York City. And basically, $75 a night you can spend there. And basically, the place is legit haunted. I can say this now, it's legit haunted because I stayed the night, stayed up till like 3 in the morning. I was, it was spooky as fuck. I'm telling you this now, why it was so creepy is because I basically was... We went to this hotel, and basically each room we went to in this old hotel had like a death, a murder, a suicide, anything like that. So basically we explored places in this hotel that we went to, and uh, heard, and basically we heard voices, we saw shadows. We were like, this one, one time we went to like the, the top floor, and we just had chairs, we were just sitting in the dark. We just hear these people talking, and I'm like, this is not made up shit, like this was something you would fucking like crapping pants to see this shit. I, it was that spooky and I was really fucking emotional. I can tell you this now. I was freaking out. And what scared me the most was supposedly there was a guy named the Butcher. Legit, like a guy back in the day. They call him the Butcher because he's the Butcher, of course. But supposedly he actually killed people and used his meat and sold like people's meat to like people. It was pretty creepy. And like it reminds me of a fucking horror story. But there's this room. Or if you look in the mirror or something. You would see your guy, your face as the butcher, which of course didn't happen. But I snapped a photo. I could probably post it in this like video. But I snap a photo, and basically, if you see like my neck, I'm being dead serious with this video. Uh, what I'm saying right now, if you see my neck. It's fucking like a different color, and I'm saying this now. It's not from like the light of the camera. It was like legit, like a different color that looked like something like it was like a ghost or like a color of like a ghost. I can't explain it. Maybe you can tell me personally what you saw, but it was fucking creepy. And I was losing my shit after I saw the photos the next day. Because it was something that we saw, and it was just creepy as fuck. So, I'm gonna get back on topic, I'm sorry. But basically, we just exited the, the basement, and we're just going to a uh, higher floor right now. Because we kept looking around for, like, more graffiti. Like, I wish I could go back there, personally. Like, just to, like, get some of the artwork. Like, it'd be awesome if I could take, like, a piece of it, like, cut it out and save it, but it's all probably gone by now. So this artwork you're seeing in this video is probably long gone, so... A couple of the photos are actually on my Instagram, if you want to check it in the video description below. I actually have a, a bunch of photos taken this night. I have to say a good five of them. They're actually shown at the end of this video, actually, and you should go check it out, but uh, yeah, those were a couple of the photos that we actually saw and we took before, like, this hotel's gonna get destroyed, so I was like, okay, this is good, at least we get to hold on to some great memories. Also guys, if you can, just I know this is off topic, but I have a GTA playlist called Grand Theft Loki, and I have a little mini three-part episode thing going on, where one was called Lost at Sea Part 1, uh, Breaking Point Part 2, and then I'm going to be making another video. They kind of, well, they're all kind of mini stories that go into each other. If you can go check that out, probably after this video, that means a lot, because I just want people's personal view on it, because I'm getting a lot of good reviews on it, so I'm probably going to make another video for part three when my video schedule if you check my video schedule for Grand Theft Loki it's probably gonna come out in three weeks from now. So you gotta be patient. And what the fuck? Did he have a gun in his pocket or is that a knife? I could not even tell what my cousin's friend had in his pocket. Okay, this is what was crazy. We started getting up to higher floors and this is where like a lot more spray paint we found was was here. But it wasn't as good as what we saw in the basement. This it says don't kill yourself, I love you. I'm like what the fuck? I said like it's like visiting a hot topic. It really was. I think it was like another thing that we we saw that was like really funny, but we haven't found it yet. So I think it's up ahead. I let them go first because why? Oh, that that's what it was. That was the fucking thing we saw. It was a fucking someone made the grudge or the ring, whatever the fuck that thing was. And I was like, nope, I'm done. I decided to like walk away because it was that fucking spooky. I was like, dude, why? Why do you do this to me? Like, I was not expecting any of this. Clearly, we made it to the top of the, the hotel, but then we found this was actually fucking creepy, if you don't mind, if I can't say this enough. This is an elevator shaft. We opened it up, and basically, thank God, like, they, my friend Tanner and the other kid Bobby tried to open it up, but we couldn't open it up, but there was this hole, and basically this hole basically was like big enough for you to fall through, but it was like basically went through each floor. So if you fell through that hole, you would have fell to the bottom. That's the hole I'm talking about. You look down that hole, basically if you fell down there, you would fall down like the 27 floors you were on. You would basically die. It was that fucking creepy. 
<laughs> so where were we right now? Basically, right now, we were basically going to, like, I was discussing leaving. Oh yeah, that was creepy. I looked down the hallway and I see the speaker and I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck is that? But it turns out it was someone we were with. I thought for a second it was like a stranger and I was like, dude, what the fuck? It was so fucking creepy. It really was. I'm telling you this now. I was so nervous in this place. I'm saying this. I'm nervous in general. I'm a fucking nervous, socially awkward human being. But this, this basically hit the fucking, this basically hit the nail right on the head. It was that fucking creepy. I was just fucking losing my shit. As the group therapy session discusses whatever they're doing next, I want to go back downstairs. Yeah, the doors were pretty creepy too. Like, it looked like there was there had to be like a murder or something in this place. I really felt like people had filmed like movies in this fucking hotel. Like one of those bad three dollar budget movies that probably just hit Netflix. If they're lucky, that's the type of thing. And, but this is the exit for all those people who don't know. This is how we got into the place, personally. We basically went in, this is how we got in. There's a little opening, and then there's a fence. And what we did was, is uh, we basically we had to climb into this window to get through. And this is the back of the part, but what we wanted to do was go to the, um, the front of the hotel. But the only way to get to the front of the hotel is to go out the back and then go around, which was fucking terrible. Because the first time me, my sister, and my friend Tanner did it, uh, security guard was the security was there. We basically dipped, which wasn't a great idea. But thank God for uh, my running legs. Back then, I was a lot more active. But this is it right here. This is what basically made me have to. This is how you get in and out of the place. Basically, you go through like this giant, field, like weed field, and then uh, right by the shore. But yeah, that was basically how what we did though. But yeah, that was basically it guys. Uh, I just want to say personally, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And also, just make sure to wait to the end to watch a little bit of trivia I have for like the kid. His name was Watson at the end of the video. It would mean a lot to me guys. So stay frosty and stay tuned. Medium. Okay. It's medium. Stop it. I have a small green apple and large, please. Okay. Are these all in the same pack? Yeah. Okay. What else? It's medium. Okay. Bruh. Medium. Uh, blue raspberry slush. Okay. Uh, and can I have a small grape with nerds thing? Nice medium. Nah. Okay. Nah. Okay. What else? I'll have a medium strawberry cheesecake. Okay. Okay. That's it. Have a medium day.